So there could be a lot of reasons that might lead to a pesticide application failing or not achieving the level of success that we intend with that application. Uh, one of the first things to consider with this is did we identify the pest that we're trying to control correctly so that we can pick the correct control measure for that pest. For example, are you trying to control a grass or are you trying to control a broadleaf weed? This will help dictate what control measures will be appropriate. Some other reasons that pesticide applications fail might be incorrect application of the product. Is this a powder that should be dissolved and applied through a sprayer? Or is this a granule that should be applied to the soil and watered in, for example? Um, another factor could be incorrect timing. Another reason why pesticide applications fail sometimes is that we might be applying the incorrect dose. And so we need to make sure that we are reading the label and that our equipment is calibrated properly and that we're mixing it properly. Some environmental factors that are important to consider in, in our pesticide applications could be wind uh, that might make it drift off of our target site. Also temperature, if it's too warm, sometimes our pesticides will vaporize and, and will not be as effective. And another concern is if we apply too close to a rain event, it might wash off the pesticide from our target site. So as you're planning your next pesticide application, remember that a lot of research has gone into helping us make these products work as effectively as possible. And always refer to the label for any directions and guidelines in the proper use of these chemicals. And we also recommend that you always use the proper safety equipment or PPE in any pesticide application. This has been Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension and you're watching From the Ground Up. Thank you.